Top 10 things you won't believe are real. Hello there, YouTube. There are things out there we accept on a daily basis as being normal. The internet, smartphones, cable, virtual reality. But at one point in time, each of these things were the unbelievable. But now we kind of take them for granted. Same with facts of life too. Polio? Like we'd ever cure that. Well, we did, and this tradition carries on to this day, where everywhere around us are facts and things that blow our minds that they're real. It's one of those situations where you take it for granted, then you realize it's pretty special, but then you start taking it for granted again once you forget about it. This is Top 5 Best, and on today's list, I'm counting down 10 things you will not believe are real. For this list, I took the red pill and questioned everything around me, seeing the truth hidden behind the facade curtain we call reality, and seeing facts in so many different things. Then the pill wore off and I realized that I was in jail for acts of debauchery I'd rather not get into until uh, after the trial. Anywho, before I get started, don't forget to drop a like on this video and hit subscribe so that way you can keep up with all of our daily videos. Also, I respond to everybody in the comments below, so if you know of any more things people won't believe are real, or if you too once took the red pill only for it to be a stronger version of PCP, then just let us know down below, and if not, just say what's up. With all that said and done, I'm your ever lovely narrator, Gentleman T-Rex. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The rain on Jupiter and Saturn is made entirely from diamonds. Hold on quickly, someone give Kim Kardashian and every poser of hers on Instagram a defibrillator shock to bring them back to life after hearing this news. Oh wait, wait, it's too late? Eh, no big loss on that one. Yes, it's true. According to the BBC, lightning storms turn methane into carbon, which as it falls hardens into chunks of graphite and then diamond. And it's not just a casual drivel of a girl's best friend. These are friggin' hailstorms. The biggest size these things can get to is about one centimeter in diameter. How science can figure out the size of a diamond raindrop on two other planets but can't figure out how to send a man to Mars is beyond you and me. However, there is one interesting anecdote. In a book called Alien Seas, the author penned down a theory that us humans could send over mining ships consisting of robots to go and collect these diamonds and hoard them back to Earth, whereupon they could inflate their prices and make you think you need one, just like they duped us all into thinking about Earth-made diamonds. Speaking of space facts that are mind-boggling, number 9. Russia is bigger than Pluto. Trigger warning for all you Pluto is still a planet lovers out there, I know I'm one myself. To further make your case even worse, science has figured out that the surface area of Russia is 17.1 times 106 kilometers squared. Pluto's entire surface area? 16.7 times 106 kilometers squared. In the literal sense, missed it by that much. Putin wins this round. The tiny dwarf's planet's entire diameter in miles is 1,485. The same amount of distance between Chicago and Salt Lake City. Number 8. A headless chicken survived for 18 months after its head was lopped off. Back when everyone lived on farms, a farmer failed at his one job of cutting off a chicken's head, all because he missed a jugular vein. Not a surgeon here, okay, but I think even I could probably cut off a chicken's head and do the job right. What did he do? Come at it from a weird angle? Well, it ended up being the greatest fortune to this farmer since the bird was still kicking for 18 months as he fed it milk and water through its adorably exposed esophagus by using an eyedropper. Seeing a cash impossibility, the farmer named the bird Mike the Headless Chicken, very original name, mind you, and did what anyone back then would do with a freak of nature. Make him into a sideshow attraction for profit. The farmer charged only a quarter for admission. For a good minute there, Mike the Headless Chicken earned around $4,500 a month. Adjust that for inflation today, that would be around $47,500 a month. Number 7. Here's a luxury that I guarantee none of you ever wanted until today. Don't you just hate it when you pull into a parking garage and you have to look everywhere to find a spot? Well, not no more, brother. Thanks to the power of the future today and probably from the makers of the Roomba, you can just pull your car into a garage and get out. And these remote-controlled robots come running out, pick up your car and park it right for you. Now if that isn't a convenience, I don't know what is. The only thing that does suck about this is if you're a valet driver because this is now your competition. So if you want to keep your job, sneak into where they keep the robots and steal their batteries. Otherwise, this is how the robots start taking over the world because once they control our cars, they control the roads. Number 6. This Interactive Wall In what feels like a cool scene from a sci-fi movie but in reality is probably from a sweet CES tech demo, the kidding you can let loose and go nuts over number 6 here on my list. Just look at what this guy is doing. 
tossing and throwing away dots usually meant for a blind person and then making a giant big black hole and brushing it all away in one clean sweep of his arm. What's cool about this is that it's seamless, no lag and no projections. It seems like a bigger touchscreen using touchscreen technology, but on a funner scale. The physics behind this is cool too. Look at how all the shapes all realistically fall down when shoved around. This is something I wish I could install on my floor, so that way my kids would have something to do other than scream in my face about what a horrible father I am. Number 5. The gigantic frying pan in the middle of Australia. Apparently every spring, a whole two miles between Sydney, Australia's Bondi Beach and Tamarama Beach is morphed into an apparent sculpture park. And it's just not one or two, it's over two thousands of them on the sand. And the biggest one that gets the number five spot here is a gigantic frying pan, for some reason. I mean, you got me there, it's cool and it would make you feel like you're in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Down in Australia. But I mean, why a frying pan? I mean, who looked at a beach and went, we need to spice things up? The thing can't even be used to actually cook anything. It's kind of like that PUBG thing they keep selling in GameStop. Either way, for two weeks, people are stuck looking at a frying pan for some reason. Here's an idea for a sculpture then, a giant statue of the pimple on the back of my neck that won't pop no matter how many times I force my wife to do so. It's quite interesting, actually. Number four, rocks that bleed. In a quote from the greatest movie ever made, when discovering the green blood of the alien predator, Dutch played by Arnold Schwarzenegger comes to a conclusion and goes, if it bleeds, we can kill it. And now you can apply that same logic to rocks. Or rather an animal that never seemed to evolve that looks like a rock. Called Purichalensis, what this creature is according to science is a sac-like marine invertebrate filter feeder. So when you split one of these open and find blood and guts, no, it's not a rock. It's some animal from the ocean floor you just murdered. Well, good job, you friggin' psychopath. Oh, but don't worry, it's okay though. Where these things are locally found, they're eaten raw like you would an oyster for an added delight. They're also cooked together with rice and salad. I don't know what a living rock tastes like, and I probably never will, but I bet you didn't know they existed before today. And if you did know, then don't say anything else, or else you'll embarrass me. And I mean, I don't need that. I embarrass myself on a daily basis, so I don't need someone else to point it out for me. Number three, ice hair. So picture this, you're walking in the woods during the middle of winter, pretending you're in Skyrim, when you look down and see a head full of white hair on some dead piece of log. Suddenly you start to question whether you really are in Skyrim, as something like that just doesn't exist, right? Well, in reality it does. Called ice hair because what else would you name something like this? It's a rare sight due to it's only growing on humid winter nights and it'll be gone in a day or two. Long story short, ice crystals that formulate on rotten wood have mycelium on them, which is derivative of a fungus that lives on said rotten wood. This fungus in turn then makes the ice crystals grow like a hedgehog full of old people hair. Thing is, since this happens in winter time, you're surrounded by snow, so it makes it difficult to point out. But you could always try making it on your own at home to impress your neighbors who perpetually hate you, I guess. Number two, fireworks that you can see during the day. No, you didn't mishear me, that's what I said. Daytime firework explosions. What I think we're looking at here is actually plumes of colored smoke a la smoke bomb, but still someone managed to pull it off. While the colors displayed are a sight to behold, the black ones look like creatures from the void coming to take over our dimension. Like, could you imagine seeing these on drugs? First off, your mind would have to grasp and accept the thing they're about to see, daytime fireworks, but then you see big black splotches in the sky coming out of nowhere and right at you. Actually, that already sounds better than any nighttime fireworks display. Sign me up, I want five. All right, I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. Number one, nanotech. This is seriously one of the coolest things out there that a lot of people aren't aware of. Also to quote the Senator in Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance, that's a really long title, Nano Machine, son. Nanotech is a chemical that basically makes whatever you put on it waterproof. Put it on your shoes, they won't get muddy. Put it on your coat, no spill will stick to you. Put it in a ketchup bottle, outflows the sauce without you banging on it like a moron. The most practical use for the chemical is on windshields for cars since that aids in deflecting off raindrops. But when you see a white Adidas shoe getting chocolate poured all over and none of it sticks, you'd think you'd be seeing some sort of Hollywood special effect when in reality, it's just the power of chemicals at work. 
So that's it for this list, everybody. Like I always say, if you did make it this far, make sure to hit us up in the comments below, as we always try to respond and just say what's up. Also, don't forget to drop a like down below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody.